Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 26th of March 2024. This morning's devotional is a reading from Proverbs chapter 3, reading verses 5 and 6, and they read, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Every day we are faced with making a decision or two. Sometimes they are relatively easy decisions, and other times they are relatively difficult decisions. Even many times we delay making a very important decision. But what we need to understand is that the root of indecision is fear. We all struggle with different kinds of fears. We're afraid that we will make mistakes and embarrass ourselves. We don't want that now, do we? We are afraid that we won't be able to finish what we started. We're even afraid that we're not good enough. One of the fears that keeps us from making decisions is the fear of disapproval. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 25 reminds us that fear of a man is dangerous, but to trust in God means safety. The moment you start worrying about what other people think, it's over and done with, because fear of disapproval is always worse than disapproval itself. So how do you get rid of that particular fear? There's only one way to do it. Face it and move against it. You've got to do the thing you fear the most. So you grab that bull by the horns, you give it a good shake, and you move in and you tackle it. You make that decision. But how do you make that decision? You need to do this in faith. The only antidote to fear is faith. You have to step out in faith. You've got to trust God and start moving. Last year, I had to undergo some surgery to remove a cancerous, cancerous growth from my right cheek. Now, I'm not overly fond of operations at the best of times. And needless to say, this one terrified me because they explained it to me and I did not enjoy this at all. It was scary, but I moved forward anyway and I thank God for His provision and His protection. You see, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is moving ahead in spite of your fear. If you're not afraid, you don't need courage. Courage comes because you are scared to death, but you're also sure of what God wants you to do, so you do it anyway. God supports those who move in faith. So here are some questions that we need to have a look at. Where do you need to trust God? You haven't fully trusted Him until you've attempted something that you cannot do in your own power. Think, for example, um, of Moses in the Exodus where God said to him He wants him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses, all the examples of stuttering and refusal, but eventually he, he did go. And then in 1 Kings chapter 18, you've got this prophet Elijah who is brave enough to tackle 400 Baal prophets in a showdown. And I would encourage you to read that story because it's quite exciting. My dear friends, I do not know what decision you need to make, but you need to prepare for it and step out in faith. Why? Because your choices determine your character and your destiny. Commit yourself to the Lord and He will give you the, the wisdom and the courage to make the decision that will bring you closer to who He made you to be. It will be worth the move, but do it with the wisdom and guidance that only God can give. May the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.